everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to the Sugar Crystal Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make this stunning black forest roll cake. So let's get right into the recipe. To begin, we're going to separate the whites and the yolks of three eggs. And then we're going to whip the yolks with 50 grams of sugar until the mixture is light and fluffy. Then we're just going to whisk in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. In a separate bowl, let's combine together our cocoa powder and hot milk gradually to form a paste. Then stir the paste with the yolks until it's all homogenous. Look at that beautiful chocolate color. And then once that's ready, we're going to go ahead and sift in our flour, baking powder, and salt. And then carefully fold everything together until just combined. Set that aside for now and let's make a meringue with our egg whites. Once your whites are frothy, gradually add in your 50 grams of sugar and whip until stiff peaks form. Then using what we call the one-third, two-third method in pastry, let's fold the meringue into the yolk mixture. Lighten the dense yolk mix with a third of the meringue. You don't have to fully combine it before adding in the remaining two-thirds. Be careful not to overfold your chiffon mix because we don't want to deflate all that beautiful air we just whipped into it. Once everything is uniform, deposit the batter into a parchment lined quarter sheet pan and then we're going to bake the cake off at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 163 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. Straight out of the oven, we're going to flip the cake upside down and carefully remove the parchment And then we're going to trim one end of the cake vertically and the other end at a slant. This will help the cake seal off seamlessly when we roll it. Then to make the cake easier to roll, we're going to score vertical lines across it and then let the cake cool. Here I just have some whipped cream I made in advance and I'm just going to carefully apply an even layer of it onto the cake and then we're going to align 70 seeded cherries towards the vertically cut side of the cake. Using the parchment below, carefully roll the cake up and use a ruler to tighten up the log. And then twist the ends of the parchment like candy wrapping to maintain the tight shape of the roll cake. And then we're going to refrigerate the cake for at least one hour. The chilled cake should be easy to handle now, so let's go ahead and remove it from the parchment and then trim off the ends. This is my favorite part. Isn't it just so satisfying? Right? I mean, look at that. Look at that. And then, once our cake is trimmed, let's decorate it. I'm just going to start with some powdered sugar, and then once again, we're going to pipe a few dollops of whipped cream on top. And then finally, let's garnish it with some fresh whole cherries. And that is it for how to make this lovely black forest roll cake. This cake is incredibly light and refreshing because of the sponge, fresh cream, and tart cherries. If you love the combo of chocolate and cherry, you have to try this recipe out. Anyways, if you enjoyed this week's video, please leave a like and comment down below. It really helps me out and I will see you all next week. Bye everyone!